Hey friends, today we're going to play some glass ionomer sealants using high viscosity glass ionomer. None of that runny stuff. Now we have three products here that are all pretty great. The um, Keytech Sem or Keytech Universal or Keytech um, Molar are all pretty awesome. Uh, and we have a self care as a high viscosity glass ionomer, pick your shade. And then of course uh, 3M has the Fuji line with Equia Forte, Equia Fuji 9. Um, all of the high viscosity glass ionomers uh, we recommend. So, uh, what we are going to do is prepare the teeth uh, using a really complicated instrument called the toothbrush. Uh, usually dry, so that we can get a nice dryness on the teeth. Clean out debris, Cheetos, all that stuff. If you really want to get crazy, uh, I do like a contra angle um, brush. You can use pumice. I don't like to use profi paste because it leaves a residue from the glycerin that's in there. Pure pumice is absolutely, probably ideal, but the brush itself does a really good job. Okay, now the teeth are prepared. Uh, of course, in the mouth, they should be a little bit moist. So I'm gonna spread just a little moisture layer on there because uh, there's no saliva in this patient, as you can see. So um, we're gonna use the Riva just for fun. We love all these products. And the Riva, you know what it says on the package when you open the box? It says don't click. So it still has a plunger. You need to break the plunger by depressing it hard. You hear that squeak? That, uh, that was it. So now I'm going to triturate it in my triturator, amalgamator, what have you. And as Dr. Robert Christensen says, you gotta manhandle that thing to get it in there. That low frequency hum that you hear is it mixing for 10 seconds. And from there, we're gonna have 35 seconds to put it onto the teeth. Now what I'm gonna to use to help me is, um, there you hear that, three clicks and it's ready to go. I'm gonna use a little bit of Vaseline, smooth it down a little bit, and we're gonna depress, make kind of a little pile of dog do like that. Let's use more. And we can go ahead and push and push and Gathered up. Have we gone through 35 seconds yet? I don't know. Maybe so. Mm-hmm. Pretty fun. I'm gonna get a little more Vaseline. Preferably that'd be on a Q-tip. And we are done. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a moist cotton part of my finger, remove excess, and then really we should stop messing with it as soon as humanly possible. What do you think, team? Is that really complicated? All right, if you want to, you can go back to that beautiful toothbrush you had and get rid of the excess over here. And so, what just happened? There's some magical things that happened there. And so now we're gonna take a closer look at our sealants that are all done. Did we do four? Did we do six? I don't know. Did we get some glass ionomer into the pits and fissures there? 
of the lower first primary molars, maybe. But uh, overall, I think we're pretty good. And you'll notice there's some slight imperfections, maybe not as great as if we were using some nice flowable composite or even a sealant material. Um, but for the most part, this is going to suffice because this is a medicine and doesn't actually require to seal the tooth.